Welcome to Home Cooking with Som Jit. Today I'm going to cook a very simple meal. Grilled Saba fish with teriyaki sauce. It's very simple and very few ingredients. So I have two pieces of frozen Saba fish. And for the teriyaki sauce, I bought it from the shop as well. For this frozen fish, right, I have already thawed it. So I'm going to remove it from the packet and then we're going to wash it. The fish is quite fresh, see? Sometimes if, if we buy frozen uh, saba fish like this, it cannot even hold it because it's too soft. So I'm just going to make a cut a little bit here. After wash the fish, and I'm going to use the kitchen towel to dry the fish. So remove the water as much as we can. Now we can go and grill it. And today I'll be using the grilling pan. And to grill the fish in the pan like this, with this kind of surface, the fish tend to get stuck on the pan. So I'll be using baking paper. This paper it can stand the heat. So I will use this baking paper to cover the pan. Like this. So we're going to cut it. Okay. Alright. Switch on the heat. Put in the fish. The fish is quite dry after we wipe it with the kitchen towel. We'll grill about 4 to 5 minutes on each side or until the fish is cooked. So I'm going to cover the lid. Set the time for 5 minutes. One more minute. Let's take a look. Oh, that's time's up, five minutes. So we're going to turn the fish to the other side. Oh, look at that. Okay. So we're going to put the fish on this side for another five minutes. While waiting for the fish to cook, we're going to prepare the sauce. Terayaki sauce is quite sweet and on the salty side. So I'm going to dilute it with water just a bit. So I'm going to put in about 2 tablespoons of the sauce. And add in 1 tablespoon of water. Switch on the heat, cook it together. If it's a bit too thick, you can add in the water. But for this consistency, it's okay. Just uh, bring it to boil, heat it up a bit. So I'm going to switch off the heat. Put it aside. Okay. Time's up. Five minutes. Fish is cooked. You see, when we cook the fish, it releases a lot of uh, oil. When we cook it on the baking tray like this, right, the oil will not escape. So we still have a nice fish oil here. Just lift the fish up. 
And now I'm going to just glaze the fish with the teriyaki sauce while it's still hot. So if the fish can absorb the flavor of the sauce, so good. Look at that. Now we're going to flip it to the other side. Pour over some more sauce. And this is best served while it's hot, so I'm going to dish out and serve. Let's try. Look at that. The grilled saba fish coated with teriyaki sauce. So well. Wow, very delicious. Fish is quite fresh. It has a very nice texture, very tasty. And the fish is cooked perfectly. It's not undercooked or overcooked. And the sauce is slightly sweet, salty, and when it blends with the oil that comes out from the fish, it blends so well with the grilled fish. Really delicious. You should give it a try. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my simple home cooked food like this. Thank you and bye bye.